What's happening peeps and peepers? I hope you guys are having fun. In this video, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tip and trick video how to do the personal endeavors. And I'm kind of debating um, with myself, obviously thinking about should I make this video? Should I not make this video? And I come to the conclusion that I actually yesterday or the day before that, I actually had a tough time finishing the endeavors, the personal endeavors, not the uh, server endeavors, the normal endeavors, where you actually have like, where everybody has the same endeavor, same mission that you need to, to complete. Usually like a uh, special task force mission or something like that, TFO these days it's called. But um, I am talking about these, these endeavors right here. Uh, for me personally, right here, um, I had, uh, or at least for today, I had to uh, kill Undyne in ground maps. So I was thinking to myself, where can I find a Undyne these days? What mission does that actually yield me? And in my mission episode journal, I couldn't find any. Obviously, it's under available somewhere. There is an undyne up here, but that is just a lot of steps that I need to go through to actually get this mission completed. And if you guys are like me, I don't have a lot of time that I need to spend searching for a particular enemy every day, every 12 hours or every whatever, every uh, 20, 24 hours, whenever these personal endeavors reset. And all of these personal endeavors, uh, there are like easy, normal and hard, uh, if you guys know about them. Um, so they're basically small tasks we need to do on a daily basis just to grind it out. Now, obviously, I could do like um, uh, these missions are basically, you know, uh, something for you to do. You can also use like TFOs, Task Force Operations right here. There are a couple of them right here on um, for Undyne. But for ground, there is only one map. Undyne Infiltration. And if you actually do this uh, TFO, you're only going to get about 20 Undynes that you can kill. Or at least roughly that. So my um, personal endeavor right here is to finish off 60 of these Undynes. Or I have to kill these guys in ground. And so that means that I have to do this Undyne Infiltration over and over and over again just to finish it off. So that's like three times and there is obviously each time you're going to finish off this TFO. There's going to be a cooldown on this so you cannot do it over and over and over again. So I was like, what is up with this? This is like personal, you know, personal accomplishment that you need to do in the time allotted that you're going to play Star Trek Online. So what is up with this and how can I finish it a little bit faster than normal? Because this is driving me nuts. I have to wait like the cooldown. I believe it is 20 minutes or something like that that you can play it over and over again. And well, that was not doing just for me. Uh, this personal endeavor, at least in my opinion, this is this is something that you need to do really quickly. It's just going to point you in a certain direction and just go there, right? Just go there. Yeah, yesterday I had like the Vault uh, Space Battle Zone where I needed to kill off a certain amount of Vault, deal amount of... Uh, uh, X type of damage like you know uh, anti-proton and kinetic damage or something like that and then that's it you know I finished these personal endeavors really quickly but today today I had like really hard I still have a hard time doing it so I was like I asked around in a couple of chat channels and they gave me actually good tips and so you know I just want to share that with you guys as well and I do want to apologize that I'm painting a really big picture but to you guys but I just want to you know uh, let you guys know that there is a little bit of frustration going on with a certain amount of enemy types of groups uh, let's say space and ground is like really hard because there are lots of space maps but not a lot of ground maps and if you have to do a certain amount of you know ground related you know uh, um, uh, like damage or you know X amount of uh, ground enemies that you need to kill it's going to be hard it's going to be really tough. So uh, I was around in chat channels and um, they actually pointed me out to something that I'm going to share with you guys in this video. And that was just do it through the foundry. Now, if you don't know, foundry are missions that players uh, can make in the game. These are not. Uh, some of them are really intricate and really awesome. And with the tools that they're that Cryptic is giving, you know, the players, they are making some really cool, um, you know, episodes, you know, missions that you can play. 
but some of them are just for grinding purposes and for grinding purposes i was thinking to myself well you can also grind for me particularly i have to defeat undyne in ground there are a ton of ground maps and there are people that are actually making these maps so thank god for those people and I cannot praise them more than, you know, I have to give them credit where credit is due. And so thank God for people that are, you know, still interested in the foundry, even though it's like a mess out there just to, you know, with all of the tools that they're giving us and no actually help. Uh, these people are actually sp spending a lot of time uh, seeing what is what and actually making these missions. So I'm actually going to show you guys uh, the personal endeavor that I have to finish off right here to deal uh, or to defeat Undyne in ground and what I did I actually went up here to the foundry if you don't have access to the foundry there is, should be like a um, a um, what's it called the thing that you have to accept uh, legal notice or legal whatever it's called uh, you have to accept that one and then you should have access to the foundry um, you go over here to the foundry tab and I opened up just my mission journal right here hell uh, Starfleet uh, go to foundry go to browse all push this little uh, down pointing arrow just to get yourself these search bar right here and what I typed is I typed in und uh, un Undyne, right? So I uh, sent, I uh, pushed the button search, and uh, which one did I found that was really awesome? So uh, this guy right here by uh, Parakema, Parakema. This guy has made a map um, just for Undyne purposes. Uh, this foundry mission allows you to work on some of your endeavors at once in one session while facing the Undyne, that is what, what at least my particular endeavor, uh, such as deal X amount of energy type or kinetic damage, hull healing and shields, kill off uh, 10 captains or commanders, destroy frigates, cruisers, battles, uh, battleships, no dreadnought due to foundry limitation. Like I said, foundry is really awesome as you know as a tool, but there are some limitations, and they're not really um, they. I mean, cryptic is not giving us really a good documentation on how to proceed. For me personally, I'm like, I want to work with the foundry, but I, you know, it's like a really intricate program and no help whatsoever. There are a couple of tutorials on the on you know on youtube and documentation how to do stuff but not really you know step by step so i'm like i'm lost <laughs> but heads off to these guys that are doing it and are working with them and it's really cool and you know also destroy destructible torpedoes just to come back to what we're doing uh you can all this in uh, you can uh, you can do all of this in four areas ground space 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 and uh, these areas can be skipped entirely or after each wave so what this is doing is it's actually uh facilitating me to you know finish off my endeavors really quickly in you know in a very fast pace so i don't have to um, I don't have to, you know, go to a battle battle zone, physically go there and, you know, deal this amount of damage, deal that amount of damage, kill off these person. I can basically go here and whatever this mission is going to start and I just can, uh, you know, uh, do my endeavors, you know, finish off my endeavors right here. So um, this mission starts right here. Go to Holodeck 2 at the Starfleet Academy and use the console there to start the mission. Now I'm going to accept this because... I already did it just you know just for testing purposes and you guys can see I'm at the Starfleet Academy and Holodeck 2 is right here uh, just for um, just to show you guys where I am uh, this is like the the Admiral's office when you uh, actually make your first character so it's like all the way here through the through the square over the bridge straight on all the way to the back of this thing Right, so the, the main area is, you know, outside right there, so you got the waterfall thingies. Okay, you go right here. This is, for, for you know, for this particular mission, the one that I'm using, uh, Undyne, is right here. Uh, other missions have, I don't think they all start here, but they have, like, you know, different uh, starting points. But as you guys can see right here, we have the option to begin the Endeavor um, grind in the Undyne, and it's going to allow us, or at least it's going to, going to ask us what kind of bridge office you want to take with me whatever 
uh, it doesn't really uh, make a point, or at least doesn't have uh, doesn't serve a purpose because I'm actually uh, not finishing off the entire mission. I'm just using this particular mission to finish off my personal endeavor. And this is the trick, the tip that I'm giving you guys is like, uh, even though it's not supposed to be like this, you're not supposed to use the foundry in this particular. Uh, particular system, the Endeavor system, you actually needed to go through or th uh, through the uh, task force operations or through, uh, you know, uh, missions in the game. Uh, and I'm actually circumventing that. So it's like, that is the dilemma that I had. Like, should I make this video or should I not make the video, this video? But for me personally, it was like, um, this is taking way too long. And, you know, I just, you know, had like, 20 minutes or something like that to put in the game so I can have my enjoyment, can finish off my endeavor and have some, you know, pork points and whatever. And um, it was a really grind. It went like an hour and a half just to finish it off. And I'm talking about this yesterday. But this is the mission dialogue that gives me uh, welcome, yada yada yada. Uh, the first way will spawn a squad in two sequence, creating equal uh, of two captains, four commanders, six lieutenants, and six ensigns in total so they're basically just a summary of what it can be done understood let's do this to launch the first way proceed to the center of the inner interface with a uh, fortification platform there all right so um it says right here if you want to exit um this mission you can do that th via the iconian gateway now these aren't just you know uh stuff that uh, cryptic is giving us you know resources to you know to 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 do this endeavor this this mission this map and you guys might actually uh recognize the surrounding of these uh this particular stuff you know you have to and there is a mission where you need to actually go through that through that uh sewer vent thingy right there so it's really cool that this guy actually did this and heads off to him actually uh, understanding how everything works and finding out stuff, how it works. Now, as you guys see, the, the mission is to start off with this, this, this fortification area and it says right here, launch the first wave. Now, I don't know where the first wave is going to... Oh, there we go. So we got Undyne right here. So that is what we needed, or at least um, I personally needed... Um, so these guys are, or at least I'm going to try to kill these guys, and my bridge officers are going to help me do that. So I just killed off a bunch of them at once, that's cool. Uh, that has to do with my build. More of them right there. So if you have to kill a X amount of enemies, these missions through the uh, foundry search for the Endeavor, or at least the Endeavors. And you will have the option to do it either ground or space and also in a particular um, um, Yeah, particular uh, enemies that can be captains or you know uh, like they uh, just said so in the um, Let me move out of this area because hello go away There we go uh, there wasn't anything wrong with your screen. There is this, you know, this whatever it's called, guys. The tarot like uh, pattern enhancer. They made everything blue. So next wave, we have two waves. We only need, need like uh, 19 of these guys that we need to kill. How many we need? 17. There we go. I think I'm going to set my bridge officers to passive. I think they're getting kills as well. Let's see. Yeah, that's better. 8, 9, 50. Come on. So this is what you do, you just, this is basically part of the mission. Did it, did it freeze? What's up with the... Yes, launch the wave, third wave. Okay, so... This is a lot faster than I, what I had to go through. You basically have to go through like, you know, TFOs. And there is that frustration, you know, you have something random, some guy random, some people know what they're doing, other people have no idea what they're doing. And this is like, 
Right here, one more and I'm done. Can we get one more? There we go. Personal Endeavor Rewards. I got yada, 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 specialization points. So this is basically it. Uh, for me, that's it. I finished off all three of the endeavors today. Um, and this is my tip that I'm giving you. Um, you can also use it for space. And, you know, kill ships and kill federation ships or whatever your personal endeavor is going to be. And um, this is how, at least from now on, hopefully... Um, Cryptic doesn't watch this video, <laughs> so we can actually use the system as it was intended to be used. <laughs> and I'm saying that obviously, um, yeah, you know why I'm saying that, but um, yeah, hopefully you guys are not going to abuse this thing. But it is what it is. If for me personally, the previous endeavor, like you know, an hour and a half just to finish off one endeavor, took me, you know, it was very frustrating. And this time, it's like you know, it wasn't even like five minutes that I that I actually uh, spend in this particular map just to finish off the endeavor. And like I said, you can do it for space or you can do it for ground. You know. It doesn't really matter. People have been making these uh, missions for 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 a long time, and I actually typed in um, Undyne to get this particular mission. But you can also use uh, and uh, tomorrow I'm writing it and uh, worse right here. Uh, no, not with this endeavors. So yeah. That's it for this thing. I'm going to, uh, in progress, I'm going to drop this mission because I really don't want it. Um, now there is, I think there was a option to give tips someday, right? Um, for ground. What did you think of a mission? Very helpful. Very helpful. There we go. But there is no... There is no option to give tip. I think you need to finish off the entire map before you can actually uh, give a tip. So I'm not going to do that. But anyway, um, my tip for you guys, use the foundry to finish off the endeavors if they are really hard. If they are like, um, if you have the normal endeavor, the server wide endeavor, you basically need to do a TFO or something in that nature. Uh, you cannot use the foundry for that, but all of your personal stuff, you know, deal uh, Tetrion or deal, I don't know, anti-proton, deal phaser, kill off this guy, uh, do kinetic damage and stuff like that. You can definitely use that for, uh, or at least use this endeavor, uh, this, the foundry to finish off the endeavor, sorry. <laughs> Making a little bit of a mess right now, uh, word-wise, but anyway. Um, that's it for this video. Hope you guys had a little bit of fun and entertainment coming out of my channel. Love to see you guys on the next video. For now, I'm going to say take care and later.